on a very special episode of Kyel. Pal World Success brings out the nastiest in people. Angry yet objectively correct people. Developers making baseless accusations, then deleting and privating their tweets. Dirty little liars admitting to their dirty little lies. And of course, the Pokemon company finally making a response. If I may. My gut is telling me Pal World was made nefariously. I just have no proof. Just dev intuition. It does feel like that, does it, Dave? Making a game is just so difficult. They're cheating somehow. <laughs> I just can't pinpoint how. <laughs> Who are those people, you may ask? Well, game developers, of course. From where? Naughty Dog, most importantly. Which is fascinating because of how sad the remaster studio looks in the shadow of the success that they're hoping and praying is not legit because it can't be. How could they reach success? It should be Naughty Dog, not Pocket Pair. Special shout out to Fratanga, who said he was so equally triggered by this disgraceful and unprofessional public behavior from a game developer that he had to make a video which is where I first received the information. Even though that motherfucker was without electricity, he did not relinquish his power to inform. If this isn't funny to you yet, did you know that this guy previously worked on Sushi Squad? And that game, in its desperation, recently showcased a hilariously underwhelming Joker, not just in appearance, but as far as the voice is concerned too, only for Rocksteady to make it clear through a purple-haired writer that this Joker's figuring himself out and insecure and, you know, doesn't really know who he wants to be yet. <laughs> if it sounds like ESG soy-soaked sweet baby slop, that's because it is. They're in a tight enough spot to know they better throw the Joker in people's faces because that's what people want, just like Brian Intahar says. However, they couldn't resist throwing in their modern gaming, modern audience bullshit because denigrating what came before with their Harley slamming a locker on a fucking outfit bullshit wasn't enough. And I bring that up to make it clear that the irony of this insecure clown developer having worked on Sushi Squad only to begin Hong Kong now that he works at an even more woke studio over a game's success is not lost on me. Am I calling this individual a Batiboy? No, but I do believe this is Batiboy behavior. It is jealousy. I can't prove it, but my intuition, intuition didn't tell you to keep your bitch talk deeper in your echo chamber, because what they deceptively did, of course, is delete it, hoping that the internet works the way that they think it does in their mind, that audiences, which are really just the gamers that they're missing with their garbage, worked the way that they do in their mind. Naughty Dog Dev is mad. What's wrong? Did the game not have enough roided out freaks that you could call women in it? I'm sure they're scratching their heads asking how the game was cleared and got past the ESG board of pure tolerant niggas. <laughs> Fuck you people. You hear me? When I see delusional saltines trying to exert their control over an Asian studio, I speak up. When I see some douche referring to a woman as unrealistic, I speak up. All of these entities hail from Eurogamer, who after their dog water ass take as usual is getting bent over in the comment section for their Looney Tunes irrelevant how has AI not replaced the majority of y'all opinion. 
it should be difficult for us to imagine a workplace that is such an echo chamber that somebody with a job that answers to somebody can go in such an out of touch direction for a game that sold 8 million in under a week but we're living in a reality where the whole studio's that fucking Kool-Aid snorting mainlining it jackass forgive me for using the phrase bent over <laughs> just seemed apt in this scenario. I'm not gonna assert that they'd probably like it, but I will assert that this behavior is becoming of the type of individual who would like to be bent over. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna read these damn tweets. This is fucking despicable, it's shameful, but I'm here for it. Like they like to say, I'm here for it. I'm touching grass while I'm here for it, motherfucker. You know why? Because it will invite equally unprofessional motherfuckers to really say some shit that you don't need to hear. Because it's so clear that the echo chamber that you've cultivated in, on Elon Musk's website just makes it so that, oh, I don't like those woads, I don't like those funny woads. You have fucked up with some of the people that I've been speaking with. All they wanted was an escape and you, you couldn't ever stop. It needed to be more, more, more. They got your ass now. So, to revisit Alex from Digital Foundry and his takes on the upcoming Stellar Blade, I've risked to highlight his sentiments for months because as we approach Stellar Blade, First Ascendant, and frankly whatever game has an attractive woman in it, you already know how these motherfuckers are going to be acting. Because it didn't pass through their fucking sweet baby Bible of pussy cringe bullshit to, you know, make sure that it would be something hilariously unappealing on that star flo- Fuck, man. I... So one of the liars that was upset with the success of Pal World went as far as fabricating information to make the plagiarism accusations that they were hurling around willy-nilly more credible. But just like people talking about me can rarely ever attack a point, it's all about something else and this hill I'm jumping on and this sinking ship you gotta get in, their reason, when inevitably pressured, they admitted they made it up. And their reasoning, and I'm not making this up, was that they were upset about the game promoting animal cruelty. Now, beta testers, I have laughed until I almost collapsed at this. I do not dare spend any more time on this particular aspect of this before it tickled me again. But did you know even Peter responded, apparently? I don't care either, you know, so they were saying some bullshit about, oh, there should be a vegan option. Suck my balls, you know what I mean? Um, but it reminded me of the people extremely upset with me over how ugly Mary Jane ended up being in the Spider-Man 2 game that, of course, went through multiple layers of dat woke shit, TM, until she was finally decided ugly enough to not offend the people in that studio. How dare you chop up those pals and try to eat them? <laughs> those ones and zeros. Polygons have rights. Polygon rights. How dare you look up that woman's skirt in that video, that real woman? Cyber rape! He can be something digitally right in here. Whoa, oh my god. Wow, wait a minute. Am I am I liking this? Whoa, I one second I'm a developer at Rocksteady, then I'm a developer at Naughty Dog, and now I'm liking what's happening in here. Like, subscribe if you haven't, add me on Fortnite so you can send me songs and comment or correct me below because Kyle's really invested in beating the uh, misogyny allegations. Uh drop your cup size in the comment section as well. But the truth of the matter is, making a game is hard, uh, you know. <laughs> They're, they might be cheating, uh, you know. What if I told you there's more? He says, being a game dev is tough. Can I turn up the music a little bit, please? <clears throat> be being a game, being a, being a game dev is tough. I'm leaving all of that in. <laughs> being a game dev on Twitter? <laughs> Yo, I don't get to do voices on the internet, you know that? I've always gotten in trouble, especially with those women back in the days, you know what I mean? They were really trying to jumpstart a too. I'm sure these devs can do it if they try hard enough. Me saying the word's a fucking no-no, right? 
But I, it's, this is just getting so funny. I keep thinking to myself, can't get worse. Everybody wakes up every day and goes, you know what? I'm going to say the new dumbest thing that's ever been said. <laughs> and he already took Naughty Dog out of his profile. So it's like, hmm, well, did somebody have something to say? Did Naughty Dog see that faster than Pokemon reacted to Power World? You know, we had other shit to talk about in this video, but I was my mind was blown. I was like, God damn, he said what? Blasted your asshole out with this comment, bro. I'm not even going to read it. <laughs> I'm not even going to read it. <laughs> and you know what? I'm not fake like a lot of these niggas on the internet. So sometimes I know how authentic you can tell the take of my laugh is. It's fucked up, man. Ain't nothing like somebody laughing. I'm not laughing at you. It's at the situation. <laughs> I'm not laughing because I'm telling a lie. <laughs> anyway, so on that note, you know, there's an upcoming state of play, right? And uh, Power World's incredible success makes me as excited as the jiggliest beta testers to remind people Power World is not on PlayStation. Just like Vampire Survivors. Would somebody get that for me if they finally get a PlayStation port? I want to play multiplayer so bad. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> this guy's fucked me up. Oh, he's a real clown. He's a real insecure clown joker. Man, what's happening for a modern audience? Damn, what if I just wanted a video game for gamers? You know, gamer niggas like me. Nerds. Can nerds make it too? No. It's a board, a HR. Oh, oh okay. What? what do you mean Lara Croft can't have titties? Anyway, Power World is not on PlayStation, right? And I own and play primarily on PlayStation, but I consider this wonderful news. You know why? Because it's going to force competition. Competition's healthy. That's why we allow some of this stupid ass console war bullshit to go on. You know what I'm saying? The cat's out of the bag now, though, because uh, giving people what they want will result in profit. And what people want is attractive women. Tomb Raider would never have worked if she was an ESG flat-chested goblin treated by sensitivity people. Majority men are your audience. So maybe get some men, you know? Because they know what they know intimately what a man wants. What a man wants, wants. Sony needs to censor everything, though. Just like Amazon uh, fucking, cen you know, they're censoring that Blue Protocol game. That really could have been some uh, anime is baked right into that game. That could have been something. But nope, shit's woke. So, so fuck you, Amazon. And Sony, if you keep up that censoring bullshit, fuck you. Stellar Blade is Sony's chance to compete by bringing back the kind of explosive and unapologetically confident equality laced women who can be hot just like the men but uh if you let the politics rob us of yet another thing then you won't get your pal worlds because a fun game made by a couple of dudes is what pal world is bro what do americans like well they're always going on about guns and slavery bro and boom you looking for this profit can you imagine if the word got out to Eastern developers that we all would love jiggle physics, shooters, maybe one with no SBMM or lobbies that aren't going to immediately disband so we can talk a little shit? Imagine if they made vanilla ice tier legally distinct copies of other Nintendo games, but actually allowed us to communicate with one another like a Mario party, but we can talk to each other since Fortnite's dragging ass in that department. Fortnite's dragging ass in a lot of departments. I told your ass ages ago to enable bot matches for niggas. You can't do that after what I was trying to tell you with fucking no build. Whatever. That's Fortnite. Let them do what they do. You know what I'm saying? But hopefully the East can fuck us up with some shit that we've maybe been waiting on. Um... Pokemon Company responded. They said, we have received many inquiries, damn fanboys, regarding another company's game released on January 2024. We have not granted any permission of, for use of Pokemon intellectual property or assets in the game. That game. We intend to investigate and take appropriate measures to address this as PAL World is potentially damaging to the Pokemon brand. For example, we do not want people to think our game have proper development time or run well. Oh my God. Oh my God, I'm reading a meme. They got me. They did. They got me. And now they got you. <laughs> Cause I'm leaving this in. <laughs> 
And now, a word from our sponsor, that's you. Game developer beta testers, you are the future. Make some stuff that people would fucking love. There's no bored of assholes getting in the way of the harmless fun that you could ingest and visually make appealing your artists. What you can type as a prompt into AI can produce something more appealing than these ass wipes are trying to charge people for. I'm available. I can be your voice in your thing. I want you guys to succeed. I want the tide to turn. Smiles, happiness, things that are wonderful and can be passed on without this weird offense being cooked up. This, these sensitive people deciding everything is so offensive to them that it must fit their bullshit. Suck a dick, man. Suck a dick. I love you to death. And I, I doubt I'm going to be able to keep running my mouth on here much longer. Because it's not really... It's not really working for people. <laughs> you know. Love you. And I'll talk to you. Making games is hard, bro. <laughs> making games are hard, you know what I'm saying?